Alrighty, well, uh, I just got finished the last few days installing these American Flyer O-Gauge switches. And uh, I've got four of them on the layout. Got uh, that one there, and it connects over there. It does a little switch back to hold the Thomas train or whatever. And then there's one uh, right there that I'm going to possibly put a log dump uh, mechanism there for a log dump car. Mainly for the grandkids to be able to, you know, push the button, watch the logs flip over. And this is kind of a little mini yard. That's the log dump car there. Anyway, uh, a little general here. Been running through these switches. Pretty smooth. It's uh, one of the more finicky locomotives. And it seems to go through there better than it actually ran through my raw switches. Uh, anyway, uh, just wanted to do a little update. I've tried to clean things up and got four more of those switches coming. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. I may go back and replace this one here. It's got a, I kind of accidentally ground a little bit too much off of the switch points there trying to get it to uh, quit picking the uh, the wheels of some of the locomotives. It was a pretty violent little hit. I mean, it's okay, but uh, I'll give you a shot there. You hear little clicky noises, but that's just the rollers going over this funky little deal here. Anyway, uh, just wanted to do a little update on it. They seem to be, uh, once I got them clean, because I uh, scrubbed them down with some fine sandpaper, tried to clean in between here, and I took them apart and I oiled inside the gear and inside these moving mechanisms here with the switch throw mechanism and all that, and then washed it with alcohol. And, you know, for something that's 70 to 80 years old, it uh, performs pretty good. You know, of course, it don't look awesome or nothing it's got this big old honking blue thing i may like i said before maybe paint these or something i don't know we'll see but uh i just like the way they perform and the reason i use that general is because it's like i said it's usually the most uh, been the most track picky just about of all the locomotives i've got uh, it's kind of hard to find one type of track to please all engines, especially switches. At first, I tried the uh, old Lionel 1022s, or I think it's 1022s, what they call it, the old 31 inch radius. Well, it really well built, but some of these locomotives just didn't like them. So that's what got me going into the marks and then eventually to these. And I tried to talk Steve into at raw switches to uh, design something like this in uh, in, o, in 031 and he said that uh, he has made these they call it that swing nose switch they make them in the standard gauge he's got those it's where the uh, the nose point of the uh, frog there swivels and it also turns the points here it's not like this this is all in one this is like the old Kind of like the old true scale switches. Uh, anyway, he says he's got a couple of prototypes, but I haven't ever actually seen one. That would be kind of cool. If you could get these in 072. Now I know that uh, Gargraves at one time made, uh, and Hearth, Hearth Hobbies made those same design uh, years ago. I do see them on eBay once in a while. Don't know much about them. But to me, that's the smoothest uh, mechanism you can you know you can make to keep the derailments down because uh, some of these are pretty violent going through some of these switches the cars almost always go through the switches of just about any type without a problem it's always the locomotives anyway um i just want to update a little bit trying to get everything cleaned off here and just running some trains tonight i'm on vacation this week from one of my jobs and just come out here to relax a little bit.
Been running around trying to get all the Thanksgiving stuff bought today and getting ready for, we're gonna have Thanksgiving on Friday instead of Thursday because that's when all the kiddos are off and all that kind of fun stuff. And the grandkids will be coming out to look at the train, so I want to kind of have it presentable, you know? Anyhow, I get those other four switches. I'll, uh, I'll take a look at those and see if there's any worth maybe replacing these others. I'd love to build a yard somewhere, and the only thing I was thinking was possibly putting one a switch off here and then going back under the bench here, under this uh, shelf with like a four track yard or a two track yard or something just to get some long storage area back there and then tie it in here on one of these curves. This is a 36 inch Menards track curve and the uh, these are 40 inch uh, radius, you know. So 40 and 36 is pretty close so I might be able to match match this on this curve without much of an issue because when you try to put these switches here on this side you got that big old honking machine you know in your way so you got to have enough clearance to to put it there that's a, one of the downfalls of this uh can't always work a switch in where you'd like to have it anyway well i guess i've rambled on enough long enough tonight but uh anyway just running a few trains and just, you know, I think it's kind of cool. I mean, I've, I've come out really cheap with this, this Menards track and these old American Flyer turnouts. Uh, it's pretty cheap for building track, I tell you. And it's very smooth. And the Menards track conducts electricity really well. It seems a little bit lighter in quality as far as heaviness goes. The Lionel track is definitely heavier metal, but I think the Menards actually conducts electricity a little bit better. Even though I like the Lionel pins better than these Menards ones, they, uh, they're just kind of strange. They, uh, they're kind of loose and you have to, they just join a little bit different. Uh, but once you pop them together, I mean, it's smooth and it don't come apart. So anyway, I'm happy with it. So that's all that matters, right? Anyhow, y'all have a happy holiday.